Hi, John here. In this video, we're going to look at how cooling towers work. By the end of the video, you will know why we need cooling towers, what the common cooling tower components are, and how cooling towers work. Why do we need cooling towers? Cooling towers are used to reject heat from a building or process. Large residential buildings require cooling towers to reject heat. The heat is generated by electrical equipment inside the building, the generation of heat by humans, and also the heat generated through solar gain, which is the heating of the building by the sun. But residential buildings are not the only places where heat must be rejected. Large power stations use cooling towers to reject heat, and almost all modern industrial processes require some means of rejecting heat. In the past, Cooling could be provided by heat sinks, such as rivers, lakes or cooling ponds. But these options are now less viable due to the tightening of environmental pollution legislation and rising cooling demands. Modern cooling towers require as little as one square foot of area to obtain the same cooling effect as 1,000 square feet of a natural heat sink. Additionally, water in cooling towers is recirculated which drastically reduces operating costs compared to a once-through cooling system. This typical cooling tower arrangement shows water being taken from the cooling tower, to a condenser, then back to the cooling tower. The cooling water temperature increases as it passes through the condenser, and reduces as it passes through the cooling tower. The cycle repeats continuously. Let's now take a look at some common cooling tower components. Cooling tower components. This is a 3D model of a modern counter flow induced draft cooling tower. Let's look at the most important parts of this cooling tower in order to understand how cooling towers work. Distribution system. The distribution system is the portion of a cooling tower that distributes water over the heat exchanger. Spray nozzles form part of the distribution system. Drain. The drain is used for draining water from the system. The drain is the lowest point of discharge within the cooling tower basin and is usually the point of blowdown. Drift Eliminator The white plume exiting this cooling tower is not smoke, it is actually moisture. Specifically, it is the entrained water molecules that evaporated within the cooling tower. As you can see, water losses associated with evaporation can be quite large. These water losses are referred to as drift. In order to reduce these losses, a drift eliminator is used. Drift eliminators consist of parallel blades arranged on the air discharge side of the tower to remove and train water droplets from the exiting airstream. The shape of the drift eliminator requires the entrained water droplets to change direction several times prior to being discharged out of the tower. Air passes through the drift eliminator unhindered but water droplets impinge upon the drift eliminator, condense, then drip back down onto the fill and into the cooling tower basin. Drift eliminators reduce water losses considerably, as much of the evaporated water can be reclaimed. Fan Fans are used to force or induce airflow through the cooling tower and are available in several different designs. The three most common fan designs are the axle, centrifugal and cross-flow types. Fans are chosen for a particular application based upon certain characteristics such as desired volumetric flow rate, pressure differential across the fan and the space available. If you would like to learn more about natural, induced or forced draft cooling towers, counter and cross-flow cooling towers or direct and indirect cooling towers, then check out some of the other videos available in the video description area. For those still wishing to deepen their knowledge still further, check out our 4 hour introduction to cooling towers video course. There is a special discount link available in the video description area. And be sure to subscribe to the channel if you would like to see more engineering video tutorials. Thanks very much for your time.